Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGem007 and today we're looking at the Tape Measure plugin. Now as the name would suggest, this allows you to measure various things in Minecraft using a couple of commands and some really cool particle effects. So whenever I'm building in Minecraft it's always annoying to have to count all the different blocks and make sure it's the right length and the right size and sometimes I get it wrong and have to restart the build over but this plugin makes it super easy and it is just fantastic very lightweight and easy to use so to start off we're going to do forward slash measure that will show us all of the commands and what we can do is set a couple of positions to measure this line so there's a couple of ways of doing it we can go to the end of the line and just do forward slash set pos one and then go to the other end of the line and that's going to be the second position so do forward slash set pos two and once we've done this all we need to do is the forward slash measure command and then line afterwards now what's going to happen is a few particles are going to appear above the line and it's going to tell you the length the position and what it's measuring so you can see this line is in fact 21 blocks wide. It has two different positions obviously and it is a line. So that's how you would measure a straight line distance, very straightforward. And if you were to count it up, you would in fact find that it is 21 blocks. So that makes it a lot easier. So then you can do forward slash measure stop to get rid of all of the particles once you've finished with uh, measuring the distance. But another way is by right clicking one point such as this one and a red particle effect will appear and then go to another point maybe far away and right click again you will see some green particle effects that will be the first position and then you can repeat the command and it will measure this distance so you can see the green particle effects going right across the uh, landscape and it's 76 blocks um, including the two blocks that we click so that's uh, important to be aware of and then we can uh, stop that again so what if we want to measure a 3D shape? Well, if you do the same method by right clicking twice on a cube such as this, you can measure the cube by using that command. It will tell you the surface area and the volume, which is pretty awesome as well. So how do we know it's working? Well, if we were to smash a couple of these blocks, you will see that the particles are in fact hidden within the blue wall. So you can see it is perfectly um, aligned and if we were to stop that and go over to this um, this glass cube we have over here and do the same, we will see that the particles are hidden within the glass. So that's a pretty cool effect. I like how that looks. Kind of wish this was permanent and it will tell you the surface area of 192 and the volume of 180. So then we can go ahead and stop that and look at one of the last commands, which is the sph spherical command. So this one's a bit harder to use. Uh, if we were to set two positions on this sphere I tried to make but it didn't end up very well and then do forward slash measure and then sphere it will give you an outline of a sphere and tell you the radius so as you can see I didn't really line that up properly um, unfortunately it's kind of difficult to use but if we were to stop that and try and select it again um, by going vertically this time we still didn't get it right but you can have a play around with this and you can probably make better spheres than I can and then right click two random positions so let's go for this one and this one over here and then do the same command we're going to get an error message saying the visual representation is only supported up to 40 blocks which you can set in the config file and obviously this is due to it may cause lag if you set more than that so uh, let's go ahead and do four slash major stop and that is all of the commands in the uh, plugin at the moment. So hopefully he adds more, uh, but we are going to check out the config file and see what sort of things we can change in there. So here we are in the config file, and as you can see, it's not very big. There's not too much in it. So up at the top, we have the prefix, which you can change and add color codes to if you really want to. Uh, you have the messages that will appear if you don't have permission, and then the message you'll get when you select positions and then down here we have the particles so you have the density you have the particle it uses so villager happy but you could use redstone for example uh, you have the color and the different colors when you select the positions so we saw that in game and then down at the bottom the most important thing is how often they update and the maximum radius so if you set these too low uh, that means they will update very very regularly 
and that could cause um, heavy resources to be used on your server and could cause lag. So try not to set these too low. Um, as you can see here, 20 ticks is one second, so be aware of that. And obviously the max radius for a sphere, if you set that too high, it could cause lag as well. So that is everything in the config file. If you go over to the Spigot page, you can download it and it's got some information um, on how to use it on the Spigot page. It's a really awesome plugin, very simple to use. Um, but if you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.